God. Okay, I want to bring you a truth talk today that actually, after I wrote it, does have some bearing on where we're at today. I'll explain in a moment. The truth talk for today is what does the Bible say about forgiveness? What does the Bible say about forgiveness? You know, the need to forgive is frequent, knowingly or unknowingly. We do things that offend people all around us. It happens. We offend and we are offended. We are human. So knowing this, the Lord has very directly spoken to us repeatedly again and again in his word about forgiveness. I want to bring to you five truths on forgiveness. Number one, I want us to remember that God forgives. Truth number one, God forgives. God has not told us to do something that he is unwilling to do. He is a forgiving God. Psalm 86 and verse 5 says, You are forgiving and good, O Lord, abounding in love to all who call on you. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 9 says, The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. The scriptures are full of examples of the truth that God forgives. Amen. Praise God. He is our example, the one we follow. He is a master at forgiveness. And I stand here before you today because God forgives. Truth number two, God's forgiveness is complete. He forgives, yes, but it's a complete forgiveness. It's whole. It's, it's 100%. Isaiah 43 and verse 25 declares, I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions, and I remember your sins no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He blots them out. He removes them. It's complete. Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 12, I will forgive their wickedness and I will remember their sins no more. Psalm 103 and verse 12, as far as the east is from the west, so far have I removed their transgressions from them. When God forgives, he forgives. It's complete. It's not halfway. He doesn't forgive and then give us the cold shoulder. His forgiveness restores fellowship. It renews. It transforms. It's life. It's complete. Truth number three, we forgive because God forgives. Our example is forgiveness. Even if we experience hurt, rejection, gossip, emotional pain, we are called to forgive like God. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 32 commands us, be kind and compassionate to one another. Catch this. Forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Colossians 3.13, forgive as the Lord forgave you. It's this call to be like Jesus. He forgave, so we are to forgive. The standard is high. The call is great. The truth is, we forgive because God forgives us. Truth number four, unforgiveness affects the offended. Don't be fooled. If you're offended, if you're hurt by someone, you've got to forgive them. You need to let it go. If you don't, you will be the one that pays the great price. Not the one that offended you. You as the offended will pay a great price, even into eternity. Listen to Matthew chapter 6 and verse 15 where Jesus said, If you don't forgive, hey you, all you that are offended, if you don't forgive, your father will not forgive your sins. That's a very hard word, but there's this clear mandate. You must forgive. If we choose to carry unforgiveness, we choose just to ignore it, sweep it under the rug, we will pay. It affects our relationship to Jesus. Mark chapter 11 and verse 25, Jesus again teaching says, when you're praying, if you hold anyone against your, any, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. Again, don't just be playing Christian. Don't just be playing church. If you're offended, man, you need to release that and forgive. We see the connection when Jesus says these words to prayer and our eternal salvation linked to forgiving. It has this effect that continues. Practically, unforgiveness 
leads to bitterness. Your life will be poisoned if you ignore offense and you deliberately don't forgive and hold that. When Jesus said, come and follow me, church, it was a call to follow him comprehensively and walk in his ways. He forgave, so following Jesus means we forgive. To be a Christian means I live unoffended. If I'm, for, if I'm offended, I forgive. I release that. Truth number five, as we wrap this up, forgiveness must be unending. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 and 22, Peter, understanding this concept, comes to Jesus and says, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, no, not seven. Try 70 times seven. Or 490 times. Can you imagine forgiving someone 490 times? The point is not 490. The point is forgiveness is to be unending. As much as you might repeatedly be offended, you don't have a right to hold that grudge. You don't have a right as a Christian to give them a cold shoulder because you're forgiven them twice and they've offended you a third time. No, it's continual. Listen, there's a difference between forgiveness and forgetfulness. You can forgive and you can still remember the offense. However, forgiveness tempers your memory, releases your heart from any type of revengeful behavior. God has called us to forgive unending. Nobody is too difficult that you can't forgive. If Christ could forgive then so can you. That's all for this week's Truth Talk, but there's more to be found in the best-selling book of all times, God's Word, written over a span of 1,600 years by over 40 authors in three continents and in three languages. The Bible is the truth. Amen.